have somebody that you work with that is over pouring or way over pouring, I don't know if they think that's the only way that they can make tips or what, but you can make a good drink and people can still taste the alcohol and they're not going to complain hardly at all on you, but some people just think they've got to go ahead and, so I've already pre-measured, so say that we, we do two ounces, so I know, I'll check every cup I have with ice, but I know that that's about two ounces. Now sometimes am I going to be a little bit up here, maybe just a little bit down there when I'm in a hurry, but I'm going to get it pretty close. But if you get somebody that's filling theirs up about halfway here or this way so that they get the beer tips and they want all the customers to come to them for a strong drink, sometimes it backfires on them. And really all they're doing is they're just screwing all the other people that they work with and the bar. And, and Lord knows I've had plenty here at that hotel. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll take, so that's my 12 ounce. So if they want a tall, I'll also you know measure it with ice in there to see about where it's at. Um, like I said, if somebody wants the no ice thing, no, it's only going to be about to there. And you're going to have, I get that every week. Somebody's thinking where I call with no ice. But anyways, that's my thoughts on over pouring.